Uh, Jonathan, em uma entrevista no final do ano passado, Olha. você disse que passou a apenas oito anos da sua vida, mais ou menos, escrevendo, que a maior parte do tempo foi não escrevendo. Então, eu queria saber um pouquinho do Jonathan Leitor. Você passou mais tempo lendo na sua vida e uh, que obras e que autores te marcaram ao longo de toda a sua formação como leitor? Well, I've been a reader much longer than I've been a writer, and I've read a lot. So it's difficult to come up with a short list of books that have particularly meant something to me. Um, I have my favorites. Uh, what to say? Um, it's such a long list. In my 20s, uh, I led a very isolated life. I was married, and uh, my wife and I, uh, she was also a writer, we would um, spend six or seven hours a day writing and then have dinner. And then there were five hours in the evening, seven nights a week to read. And being ambitious to become a novelist, Uh, for five years, I read 35 or 40 hours a week. Uh, and if you put in that kind of time, you can read all the great literature of the 19th century and most of the great literature of the 20th century. It was not necessarily any particular book. It was, um, it was fully mastering fully absorbing the entire tradition of the novel, going back all the way to Don Quixote and Robinson Crusoe, um, that I think that's more than any specific author. What has shaped me as a writer is um, really inhabiting a tradition understanding what the different choices you can make are. There's a big difference between Lawrence Stern and Tristram Shandy and uh, Dostoevsky and Brothers Karamazov. Those are those are different choices. And if you've seen the whole thing, you can start to say, well, what is it that I want to do? What's the tradition I want to work in? Um, and, and that's really where I come from.